So I was looking at my newly bought wet cat food on top of the fridge when something caught my eye. It was black mold. And immediately when I saw that, like I knew what happened. So I, I bring it down, put it on a surface that I can easily clean later, open it up, and sure enough, maggots. Maggots every fucking where. So I throw the, like a can had been opened, like punctured somehow. But it was weird because there was no hole in the box yet. A can was punctured. So somebody packed it that way maybe? I don't know. But uh, I just threw it in the garbage. I mean, what am I going to do? Like put it in a put it in a plastic bag and bring it to them to show them I guess I could have but I was just grossed out so I just threw it in the trash so that was a bummer and it's funny because I've had I've experienced this type of stuff before where I just pick it up pick up a product well from the grocery store and I don't really look at it very good uh like last time the thing that pissed me off is I bought like a a bottle of Castile soap right and I open it up and it's already been opened up. Somebody took off the little top. And I know exactly what happened in that case too. Like somebody didn't know, you know, they wanted to smell it or something before they committed to purchasing it. Which to that I understand. But at the same time it's like, just commit. And remember if you like it or don't. And like don't buy it next time. Is it really that big of a commitment? Because now I don't know if, you know, somebody stuck their tiny wiener down in the hole and contaminated the soap or whatever. So what I did was I just, in that case, I uh, just kind of dumped out like a lot of it and I still used it. I mean, it's gross, but it's not maggots gross. And I'm probably, I was probably overreacting. But the point is, is what is all my point with all this? Uh, I think it's, I have severe ADHD and this is just one of the way it affects me. And I get so down on myself and angry at myself. It's like, look at the thing before you buy it to make sure it's not got maggots in it. I mean, come on. Cripes. Another thing that affects me is spending habits. When uh, my ADHD flares up, I guess it's a boredom thing. Like uh, constantly chasing that dopamine fix. It's endlessly scrolling on TikTok. That is dangerous. That's like, I'm just going to watch a few TikToks. And then an hour goes by. It's like, I got to stop that. I got to stop that. But, uh, oh yeah, more importantly, how it affects my money is like, I've spent, (laughs) I don't want to admit it, but it's been been thousands of dollars on DVDs and Blu-rays that I haven't even opened up yet. I haven't even watched a, a fraction of them. I will eventually, but uh, for now, they they just sit and wait for me to uh, watch. It's funny because uh, Gabor Mate, I'm sure I'm butchering his name, but I'm sure people that are into uh, psychology and mental health know who he is. Talks a lot about narcissism. Uh, He also, I guess he, his big addiction is buying classical uh, CDs from like eBay CDs and tapes I think it's like it's like almost like our autism is showing <laughs> not that he has autism or I have autism but well I'm, good chance I have autism as well uh, I have both I have both uh, neurotypical or sorry neurodivergent traits the only one I've uh, the only purchase I've managed to uh, watch all the way through is the Friday the 13th Blu-ray box set totally worth it uh and my mini review on the series would be that uh man it starts out with like as this minimalist slasher you know and then you really it's interesting to watch it evolve uh story-wise because like by by the fourth one i believe is when they finally kill him off and jason is dead and then like the fifth one he's uh it's a copycat killer thing. It's very uh, 
Michael Myers Halloween 3 where uh, J- the real Jason's not really even in it. And uh, and 6 and 7 are arguably the most entertaining because now he's a zombie. He's zombie Jason. And that's really campy and schlocky and I love that. So that did, <laughs> pun intended, uh, breathe new life into the franchise. And then uh, it really started to jump in the shark uh, probably... You know, Jason goes to man, or Jason takes Manhattan, and then Jason goes to hell is just it's more schlock. But uh, the two that are super dated more than any of them, I feel, is uh, Freddy versus Jason, and then of course before that, Jason X. They're so two thousands, late nineties. I I love it. And uh, I'm a completist, so yeah, it's cool that they included uh, Freddy vs. Jason. They wouldn't have been able to do that if New Line Cinema hadn't... Uh, or wh- What is the merger? But anyway, Jason and Freddy are both on the New Line Cinema uh, label, so they could do that. And they include the 2000... No, not 2018. I think it was like 2010 remake of Friday the 13th, which from what I remember was pretty good, but... That's the last one I got to watch, and I'll be done with the box set. But it's uh, it's spendy, of course, but you're getting a lot for your money. Would recommend. Actually, the 2010 one is kind of awful. It's uh, written by the same people that did Freddy vs. Jason, I do believe. And uh, just the, the cast member in the 2010 one was... Uh, cast members were obnoxious super obnoxious like all cliches and let's you just waiting for everybody to die and uh they eventually do for the most part so there's that more about tiktok though is uh it was funny because i woke up and i was like i'm gonna start kind of like looking into uh maybe getting back on fiverr so i can do like freelance jobs freelance art art jobs and uh so i go on to youtube and I just, you know, start looking into it, watching videos of the sort. And then later, after I'm done doing that, I get on TikTok. And, of course, TikTok is just all about these little side hustles and small businesses and and the exact stuff I was looking up to. So, man, uh, TikTok is definitely following every move you're making. And it's kind of like, but aren't they all, I guess. But it's just so blatant nowadays how they... It just doesn't even bother to hide the fact that, oh, do you like this? Do you like this? Here's this. So, I don't know. It kind of works. And and the way it works is because a good example would be, again, my ADHD. Uh, I was diagnosed when I was in, like, seventh grade, I believe. Uh, So I got an early diagnosis. But uh, (laughs) it was kind of met with adversity right from the start from my dad who was like he didn't want to hear it like basically typical conservative kind of mindset of like there's nothing wrong with my kid like he you know took it personal or something or he just thought it was a scam which definitely um like Ritalin and stuff like that was arguably over prescribed uh but weirdly enough they didn't want to put me on any type of ADHD Ritalin type medication they wanted to put me on like antidepressants I've heard that that's common sometimes to help with ADHD but it did not help me I will say that I was on Wellbutrin and it I, I it made me way more depressed so that was definitely not a good idea but uh yeah go like turn back the clock a year ago maybe I just, like the algorithm knew that I had ADHD And so it kept on feeding me these videos about like, do you do this? Do you do that? And it's like, I was was like, oh my God, that's right. I have ADHD and like all these things are so relatable. Everything from rejection dysphoria to uh, my, maybe my more uh, autistic traits like cricketing, which is kind of rubbing your feet together. Or when I walk out, I will uh, rub my thumb and index finger together like constantly incessantly or pick at my head like which sounds kind of gross but whatever I, it's something i do and that's that's a way to like release dopamine i guess because we're so dopamine deprived and it's just like i feel like education 
is powerful. And in that way, that's like a good example of TikTok uh, butting into my personal life and spying on you is actually a good thing. But I don't know. That's just the way it is nowadays. What are you going to do? I guess you could not use it. There's that too. And I feel totally out of control. Uh, I've trashed my shop twice. When I say trash, I just mean kind of throwing stuff around and making it messy and I don't know. <laughs> it's embarrassing to admit, but yeah. And then today, I, I had another episode where I was breaking shit. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's hard being sober. Uh, I'm forcing myself to do this podcast. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I went... Uh, I went three days without using the uh, my THC one to one to CBD THC one to one CBD, and that really helps with um, just the anger, the stress, the anxiety. Because um, I can't afford real medication, and I don't know, I'm hesitant to use it anyway. I mean, like I don't trust, I don't trust anybody. <laughs> I trust plants, so. And it works, so that's good. The reason I wanted to, the reason I stopped using the one to one, which works, uh, and I, I know I I knew this again. Like it's just I just repeat the same behavior. It's like insanity. But the reason I stopped is because I wanted to use this uh, uh, lucid dreaming formula that I bought on Etsy, and it works. I believe it's it doesn't really say what's in it. <laughs> but uh i'm pretty sure it's uh african dream root or the nut uh look into lucid dreaming i'm sure you'll see it along with like stuff like catalita kalia zatachichi i've grown that stuff before and it, it really doesn't work that well probably maybe it wasn't concentrated enough well i did use an extract so it wasn't concentrate but uh, i definitely got uh Definitely got good results off this stuff because uh, after I stopped using my one-to-one, because THC um, will kind of block dreams or at least your ability to remember them or something. I don't know what it is, but it's very true. And by the third day, like I was dreaming all night long. I was like, I woke up like tired. Like that was a long sleeping time because I felt, you know, my brain was so active and I remembered every second of it. So... But I can't be doing that, and the dreams weren't even of value. Like, nothing, I learned nothing from the dreams. They were kind of my name. So, I guess if I'm seeking meaning through dreams, then it just has to come to me. Uh, how, you know what I mean? Like, maybe that would make it more fantastical, maybe uh, something I should actually pay attention to. Well, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Just attempting to woodwork and i didn't make anything all i've made is scrap wood and uh that's not really my goal so you know i sat down with my book and i sketched out notes so i was like maybe i need to plan more maybe that's what it is so uh i'm gonna start taking my time and uh not get frustrated when things don't go right you know, I've heard that, like, if you want to get somewhere, you got to make a lot of mistakes first. Well, I'm making a lot of mistakes, so hopefully I'll learn something. Uh, but nothing really doing so far. Another part of the struggle has been deciding what I actually want to pursue, because I know it's okay to have a bunch of interests and hobbies, sure, but, like, I feel like it's a waste of time if I don't really sit down and figure out what it is I want to actually become good at because I'm, I'm just like I'm not a jack of all trades I'm a failure at all trades at everything I do so I'm I don't know maybe get back into painting I, I, it's so frustrating the 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 treadmill of having all these hobbies not being good, losing interest, going, okay, not even knowing what sounds good, like what will make, play make, will playing music make me feel good? Although like, 
I've never taken that serious. Like, oh, I'm really gonna go somewhere with my music. I've never been like that. The time for that has passed, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I just think, uh, drawing and painting, but I just get so overwhelmed. I, I, I experience the ADHD paralysis, and it's so hard to get out of. I mean, you really can't get out of it. It's like pushing yourself to go to the gym, except that's easier, actually, and that's hard as hell. So, I don't know why I bothered, because uh, this is a real downer. <laughs> I guess it's real, though. Keeping it real! Is that what the kids still say? No? Okay. And it's funny, too, because even just talking into a microphone doesn't even sound good to me at these times. Because, uh, like, you know, podcasting is obviously something I'm interested in, even though I'm horrible at that, too. But... Funny enough, the thing that I've just been into is just walking. Walking like a crazy person in my backyard. Um, in a circle. Literally. Because, well, the reason I have to do this is because I don't want to spend the gas money to go to this one spot, a bike trail, that I always used to go down, uh, walk down. Because, like, the cops aggressively told me to get out and I couldn't be there and it was like you know the park closes at 11 you gotta you can't park here so it's like well I I have no I don't want to walk around like neighborhoods and stuff I'd rather just walk in my backyard so that's what I'm doing and when I walk in my backyard I feel good it's just an easy nice thing to do it's like Bukowski talked about writing is just an easy nice thing to do it's like I wish I could do that with painting or drawing or just making art for some reason, I just can't do it. And I, I've heard it said that the more you want something, the more it repels from you. Whether it's self-sabotage, which it is self-sabotage. I know I need to do it, but I can't. It's crazy. It's maddening. So, yeah, instead of painting or drawing, I'm going to go and walk in my backyard. You know, it's good, though. I've lost some weight. Uh, get in my 10 to 15,000 sometimes 20,000 steps a night and as you can imagine especially if I go 20,000 steps that's like a 4 hour ordeal and that's time I'm not spending painting so I'll make a promise I'll try to paint tonight how about that but if I do you gotta do it too alright let's push each other huh yeah I'm gonna go now because my cute little black cat is putting his paw under the door because he misses me because I, I have to kick the cats out when I'm doing this. Otherwise, they will walk all over the keyboard. and It's annoying. So, And it makes uh, more sounds than me creaking at my desk. A correction, it's my black little cat, first of all, has a name. And its name is Andy. And it's defi she identifies as a, as a girl, uh, as a her. So I messed that up. Just to, just to be on the correct side here and i did manage to uh do some painting so that was successful uh and like i knew would happen i felt really good while i was walking you gotta you gotta put in uh exercise if you have adhd for sure but uh the the problem i'm having now is uh just there's this people who have adhd will know um kind of being distracted and how how distracting distractions are it's uh like i want to focus on 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 what i want to focus on but like i got people like wanting to spend time with me and that's nice i mean to be have people want you around but damn it's just i need to focus and everybody knows that has adhd it's like it, you stop it's, it's everything is so distracting and you can't like get it together like it's no big deal oh uh, the good news is though I'm, I'm getting scammed on fiverr right now so that's pretty comedically humorous um <laughs> you know obviously when it's this too good to be true it's a scam it's like oh first of all he's paying me hourly he wants to pay me hourly or they whoever they are and they want to pay me $139 an hour. 
It's like, I, I doubt it. USD too, of course. And uh, then they, the thing that really was a tell was they were asking me if I'm on a PC. So, hmm. Not too many creative people on PCs. I mean, they're just not as powerful when it comes to doing like digital media and whatnot. And another thing that's really getting under my skin is that I'm re I realized that I bought the wrong product for uh, grow lights. There's these things I use called Sunblaze T5s, and they're about 20 inches long. But every time the bulb burns out, the fixture burns out. So it's like you can't just replace the bulb. The whole thing is worthless. And I'm Googling them, and they don't even have a website. So it's like... Uh, who do I contact to tell that your product sucks? I guess I just need to stop using Sunblaze grow lights. They suck. Back to the uh, the guy that was trying to solicit me for a job. Uh, yeah, I just said I have a MacBook. What is the name of your company? And then he just says, "Kindly send me your email so I can reply with more information," which is a hard no. I got two cats. I got to let one go. You want to go? There you go. <laughs> my 17-year-old cat is not liking uh, my little one that I had to let go. But uh, they were pretty close. So we're making progress. But now he's tormenting her under the desk here. This ain't going to work. But I thought I would talk more about um, kind of being stuck in uh, ADHD paralysis, which is what I was experiencing. That was what uh, I was trying to communicate, but I'm kind of out of it now, thanks to, I think, uh, my dedicated, at least, uh, I use about half, about 0.25 mm. Uh, or an ounce or something like that but anyway it's one to one it's one one to one THC CBD and that really helps everything every it helps everything it helps me get out of my head my cat has grown it's okay but anyway I started having dreams that were like really symbolic once I started um taking my medicine basically and uh Okay, so this is my dream. I know nobody likes hearing dreams, but I'm going to do it anyway. I was moving in with my friend Tim and another friend, uh, but I don't remember who that was. You want to go? You want to go? It's okay. It's okay. All right. She's gone. Anyway, we were all broken up with our girlfriends, but I remember saying specifically that I broke up I wasn't dumped. I broke up with my significant other, my ex. Anyway, I it just I only put that in because I so rarely remember things said by me or anyone else in dreams. So I thought that was weird that I had to uh, point that out. It was very lucid and vivid, and um, I, again, I, I it's because of these this, these drops that I was taking, which I believe is just African dream root. Uh, we filled this like plastic skeleton that I have. It's like a one of those posable skeletons that everybody has. But anyway, somehow we filled it with water somehow. Uh, you know, it was just like a weird abstraction, but somehow we filled it with like a bag of water in its rib cage or whatever. But anyway, we raised it up into the ceiling, but the water soon leaked down into the tiles, the ceiling tiles. So it's like a recurring dream of water coming down from the house or the house falling apart. I often have these these specific dreams of water coming from the ceiling and it's very indicative of, uh, uh, it's a harbinger from, it's a harbinger telling you, you are no sh longer sure where you are, where you're coming from or where you're going. You're confused, which I was. Uh, you need to feel less 
vulnerable and fragile and to live life to the fullest, which certainly everybody does want. Uh, dreams about leaking ceilings are indicative of a lack of energy and protection, which I was at the time. I was feeling very not myself and burnt out and wanting to be better and do things, but I could not. Uh, it's also getting cold right now and dark, and I, I don't care for that, so I feel vulnerable environmentally speaking. The dream tells you to go through spiritual purification and transformation to regain full faculties over your life. Uh, could mean success and just could mean success is just around the corner. Uh, something is preventing you from moving on in that direction again. ADHD paralysis. Uh, you have an emotional block that is preventing you from reaching your full potential. Likely your preoccupation with mundane things. Absolutely, part of ADHD is going off on tangents when you're trying to be concentrated on the one thing that you want to accomplish goals in. So I'm very self-aware of this. Uh, too much time on the cell phone, all that kind of stuff, or other abstractions. Um, this dream jolts your mind to think about your future. It's high time that you put your priorities in order and start planning for the next phase of your life. Well, I'm definitely trying to. Now for the skeleton. Uh, it was... 100% my skeleton. It's uh, the plastic skeleton I was talking about. So it's my skeleton. Uh, you know, not my literal skeleton, but it's mine. So dreaming of a skeleton means you have a distorted image of yourself. Too self-critical, which is why I'm looking for flaws in everything I do. Even though people compliment you all the time, you are not satisfied. So imposter syndrome, definitely. You don't envy anyone but when you compare yourself to others it seems that you are s less smarter and less successful at everything you do so those two things are dead ass correct about what i'm going through the skeleton with the help of my old friend was ascended moved away from me up into the ceiling to where i, I don't know to god like jesus take the wheel kind of stuff maybe and what comes back down in the ceiling and drips on us is the water and the meaning of the water is figure your shit out uh get out of my head and emotions and don't waste time on stupid shit like that uh then the next night i had a, a dream about a train derailment i was inside of a cafe or something and inside of a train or no i was in a cafe watching a train go by and it was like these two trains i forget who i was with but we were looking at this train that was trying to connect but it came in too fast and derailed so all these freight containers and box cars were going off track and you know it was crazy cinematic then i was at some event so moving right along i saw some people slightly older than me and one of them was uh my friend tim's sister so again i have uh my friend the certain friend showing up in my dream uh or at least having some connective tissue to them which i've heard that like if you dream of somebody it's because you're th they're thinking about you I don't, that just sounds like hokum but you know the world is weird i mean we're all connected right everything is connected uh but i did not recognize anyone then i saw uh an ex-girlfriend but she had a bunch of tattoos and piercings uh, I don't know what that means the derailment is a harbinger for a person in your life that you need to reconnect with apparently that would be my friend Tim you are welcoming fun and festivities into your life <laughs> a derailed train means that I guess okay content with the situation or relationship you're in I totally forgot totally uh, dwelling on unresolved childhood issues. Totally. Train wreck means challenges ahead, probably as well. But So that's it. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Werewolf Time. Werewolf Time is not, not sponsored by Fiverr. And it's definitely not sponsored by the sons of bitches at Sunblaze Crow Lights. But we would like to thank, as always, Marijuana Products. Let's go. Let's go. It's werewolf time. Let's go.